Micro decisions that you make while playing Fortnite or any video game really will often make or break you. Now, take Fortnite to the competitive level and you're talking about having to make the right moves within a fraction of a second. Or you might just be sent back to your favorite place in the entire world called the lobby. Who wants to go there? Not me, sorry. That's the only reason why it's more important than ever to have an arsenal of tricks up your sleeve and get you out of that sticky situation. What's going on guys? This is your guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. And I wanna let you know right now, if you don't know this, you better know right now that I am your number one fan. I am seriously cheering for you guys, rooting for you guys. This is your year to take off the limitations because you're gonna do things you've never done before, but you gotta believe it. You gotta really, really believe it. And I'm telling you, you're gonna see the results, not only in this game, but also in life. In life, okay? It's going down, for real. So, connect with me as soon as you can on my Instagram. I would love to hear from from you and today we're going to be discussing some incredibly underutilized tips and tricks that you probably are not even using these moves today are commonly used among pro players and offer slight edges in specific circumstances which will in turn offer you more opportunities to get that epic victory royale but before we get into that we have to ask you guys this show your love for pro guys by smashing that like button it only takes a couple seconds and it really helps us produce these videos. More videos are gonna make you a better player, so it's a win-win, to be honest. We also noticed that most of you guys are not visiting our website and you're just missing out because we have added all new analysis videos and trending articles along with new courses coming with World Cup pros and much more. So click that link in the description down below and check us out. All right, my friends, I'm not gonna waste any time at all with this video, so let's just get into things. Up first, we've got Mongrel with his special fast ramp play. This one has to show up first on our list because of how useful and simple it is. You might find yourself watching a young EU phenom just like Mongrel and be amazed at how fast they can place builds after editing. The thing is guys is that there is a small trick that the pros use to get their builds down quicker. And let me just say that they don't want you to know about it. It's a secret. That was kind of creepy. It's a secret though. Okay, so that was a little weird and maybe a little confusing, but let me break it down for you. Take a look at this clip from Mongrel and watch how he instantly gets a ramp place in his opponent's box right after making the wall edit. Crazy, huh? Okay, well, let's slow this down and I'll explain step by step what's going on here. Okay, so first, Mongrel takes control of the wall between him and his opponent, obviously. All right, we all saw that. Once Mongrel got it, he then goes for an edit. Okay, stop right here because this is where the trick comes in. Once he holds down mouse one to create the edit, he doesn't let go once all the tiles are selected. Instead, he confirms the edit and is still holding on to mouse one. Now, all he has to do is click on his ramp key bind and boom, instant ramp placement. Now, just to give you guys a little background as to why this mechanic works as it does, it really comes down to the fact that holding mouse one throughout and after your edit is gonna prevent your gun or pickaxe from coming back out for just enough time to get a ramp placement. Thus, a ramp gets placed nearly instantly, and you now have an ungodly level of control in the fight. I suggest that you hop into a creative and really master the concept of holding down mouse one even after you selected all the editing tiles. Give it like 10 minutes. Don't go in there for like one minute and be like, I think I've gotten this down, guys. I'm ready to move on. Don't do that, all right? Because you, 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 you're not ready. Get, give at least 10 minutes. In fact, we are actually going to be using this holding mechanic in our next tip, so make sure you have this down, please. Thank you. Now, although this next tip uses a similar mechanic, its use case is entirely different. Instead of an offensive attack, such as our last tip, the utility for this trick is gonna be from a defensive position. So let's take a look at the fastest edit and trap placement. Guys, if you thought the last play was helpful, <laughs> then you haven't seen nothing yet. You gotta check this one out, like now, like now, now. Well, you can't help it because we're about to show up. This play is gonna be used when you find yourself in a turtle and an opponent wants to aggress you at an unhealthy level to say the least. They're like all up in your space, for real, for real. When someone pulls up to your turtle, specifically one of your sidewalls and begins to chop away, your first instinct might be to go psycho edit and just place a trap to ward them off. Like, come on, man. Well, you got the right idea, but making a risky edit to get a trap place in their vicinity might just get you one pumped, like in the face. You don't wanna do that. To combat this, we are instead going to be using the turbo build mechanic to nearly instantly get your trap placed and almost guarantee that your opponent can't shoot you. Let's break it down into a few key steps. First, get your traps equipped and have the trap placement menu open. Great. Now, keep them open for the remainder of the trick. 
Now grab the edit and click one of the side window panels. Like I said, we're gonna be using that same mechanic that we covered in the last trick and hold down mouse one, even after we confirm the edit. Once the edit is confirmed, and keep in mind we still have mouse one being held down, you should be able to place a trap outside of your box upon release. You're gonna to have to practice the crosshair positioning to actually get the trap to stick to the outside roof, but apart from that, it's fairly straightforward. Once you get your trap placed, reset the wall in front of you, and your opponent should be scrambling like my eggs. I don't know about you, but when I play Fortnite, I get a little hungry. <laughs> don't worry about me, I'll be getting some eggs later. Yes, scrambled, the best. The trap itself might not hit your opponent if he dodges out of the way quick enough, but the panic that results from it should give you the opportunity to sneak in a nice shotgun shot and give you a clear advantage moving forward. Both this and the previous trick rely on the mechanic of holding mouse one down after an edit to quickly make your next move. Think of it like winding up a pitch so that you can just be much quicker than when you execute your play. Your opponent is not gonna see it coming and you're gonna sure get the upper hand in a vast majority of the time. Moving on to our next tip, we're going to be talking about the Shield Bubble Hoverboard. With the addition of the Shield Bubble and the V10.2 patch, this item has some unintended consequences that you pro gamers should be looking to exploit. So let's talk about how to set this play up. First, you're going to want to get off your hoverboard, that's the first thing, as standing on your hoverboard while placing the Shield Bubble will not allow it to stick, sorry about that. Once you're off though, toss the shield bubble right at the center of the hoverboard to ensure you're not gonna miss the mark. That's really all there is to it. You can now get on and zoom safely. Bye, I said bye. Regarding the utility behind this, there are some obvious use cases, the main one being to safely rotate. You can easily set up this play in a mid-game zone and walk yourself and your team to the safe zone with the shield bubble basically in your backpack. If you're planning to bring some buddies along for the ride, try and make sure that they have hoverboards as well so you can all speed into the next safe zone before the shield bubble expires. Remember guys, you only got about 30 seconds. Yeah, you need to get on, like right now. Oh, and uh, by the way, almost forgot, if you're worried about this being considered a bannable exploit by Epic Games standards, uh, don't be. Recently, Epic Games has addressed the shield bubble's ability to stick into player-equipped bushes and removed that as a possibility. If they considered the hoverboard trick to be game-breaking enough, surely they would have removed this in the same patch. With that covered, let's talk about bouncers. The bouncers were unvaulted in the V10.4 patch and pros are absolutely loving it. There's gotta be a good reason why, so we might as well talk about some of the pro tips that maximize bouncer usage. You guys ready for that? I'm sure you are. The first trick is the bouncer and launch pad combo. The bouncer and launch pad can be used in tandem to really pack a punch in your rotation. Sometimes your launch pad can get you far enough and still require a trek to get into the safe zone. Gone are the days as long as you have both of these items in your inventory. This tip requires a bit of a setup, so bear with me. You're gonna place the bouncer on the sidewall and a launch pad exactly one tile away is shown. You are going to put a center arched wall in between to clip your head when you hit the bouncer and allow you to get to the launch pad perfectly. Now that the setup is complete, go ahead and walk into the bouncer. Do not jump or it's not going to work. Also, you have to be a little to the left or right, not perfectly centered when walking into the bouncer, okay? If you go dead center, the arch won't clip your head and you will fly right over the launch pad and you're going to have to start all over again. Womp, womp, womp. Yeah, it sucks. Badly. Just look at the height you get with the bouncer and launch pad. Under optimal circumstances, you can go as far as 360 meters using this nifty trick. I will say that a bouncer and launch pad is a lot to ask for in regards to utility usage, so only use this when the rotation is very far and you want to secure a safe departure. If you don't have a launch pad but do have shockwaves, this trick will also work. Let's discuss bouncers being used with shockwaves. Just like the launch pad play, using shockwaves alongside the bouncer will give your impulse a little extra kick. Using the bouncer with shockwaves takes a little less prep work, so if you need fast results in a hurry, this is your play. Get decently close to the bouncer that you're gonna place against the wall, drop shockwaves on your feet, and instantly run into the bouncer. You should pick up momentum pretty quickly if timed right. Go ahead and practice this in creative for a bit. It personally took me about 15 minutes to get the timing down, so I know it's possible. You can do it. The combination can also be used for strictly vertical air time, baby. I'm not calling you baby. I just meant that like in general. Anyways, okay, weird. This one is super risky because you could easily overshoot your target and be stuck in the sky for like forever, ever, forever, ever, forever, ever, and get lazed. 
But say your teammates are on height, right? And you're like a good 10 stories under them. No need to waste 500 mats getting up to them, okay? Just use this trick. Build a one by one two stories up. Completely hollow on the inside. Go ahead and put the bouncer on the floor and start stumping on that bad boy a few times. You should be picking up a bit of momentum here. Then simply throw the shock waves on your feet right before you make contact with the bouncer again and it should catapult you high into the sky. We're talking a good 15 stories here. It's really that easy, guys. All right, so to quickly go over everything one more time. First, learn to hold your mouse one during and after your edit to place the ramp in someone's box at record speeds, man. Also, get your shield bubble and hoverboard rotations going. You'll be super protected for 30 seconds. You gotta hurry. Finally, get crafty with the newly unvaulted bouncers. Use them in combination with both launch pads and impulses to get more bang for your buck. All right, my friends, once again, this is your guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I hope you enjoyed this video. Connect with me as soon as you can on my Instagram. Once again, I would love to hear from you. We're doing a lot of things, and I want to inspire you to be the best that you can be, not only in this game, but also in life. And that's going to be all for us today. Hope you enjoyed this. Once again, make sure to slap a like on the video. It shows us that you're digging the content we have to offer, and it keeps us on our toes. With that said, we'll see you next time.